Hello, the global financial crisis has made people question whether GDP is the right way of measuring economic progress and there's been growing interest in measuring happiness, generally through surveys asking people how they how they feel about the world and their lives. Now the latest um, the survey of, of happiness has come from the United Nations. Um, what it shows is that Finland ranks as the happiest economy followed by a bunch of small northern European economies including Iceland, Norway and, and Denmark. At the bottom of the league um, are poor war-torn countries including uh, Yemen and Afghanistan and, and Syria. You might assume this is all about um, stability and incomes, stable rich economies being pretty happy. Well, that's partly the case, but it's not the whole story. Um, in the United States, um, what's happened is that since the early 70s, incomes have doubled, measured happiness is pretty much unchanged. The thinking in the States is that um, above incomes um, in excess of around about $75,000, happiness does not move a huge amount. And so the UN thinks that as well as incomes, a whole series of other factors including um, freedom, the generosity of society, levels of, of trust and social support which have a big effect on happiness. And this is why some economies like say Costa Rica and New Zealand, they're not particularly high income economies um, but they rank well above um, the United States and Germany um, in terms of happiness. Conversely, um, some relatively rich economies, including Singapore, um, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, which rank lower down the happiness league table than their incomes might suggest. Now, critics will say of these measures of happiness that they're subjective, they're a little bit flaky, they are not reliable in the way that GDP is reliable. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Um, as Richard Layard, the leading economist of, uh, in the study of happiness, points out, um, self-reported happiness correlates quite closely with physical markers, including life expectancy and the uh, incidence of the stress hormone um, cortisol. So I think overall, um, we are, the, the, the measurement of happiness is an evolving science um, but of course it's taken us a hundred years to get to today's measures of economic output. Happiness is um, at an earlier stage and I think what is absolutely clear is that a better understanding of what makes people happy will lead to a better allocation of resources in society and better policies.